So I feel like with playing Necromancer in this class being super overpowered, I'm gonna get way too spoiled to it, and I'm not gonna be able to perform as well on my other classes. I mean, I played a shit ton of Rogue yesterday, I actually switched my build from the bow to the double swords. It's been working a little bit better, I mean, uh, range is definitely the most OP in this game, but I mean, daggers aren't that bad either. I'm just playing Necro for YouTube because I'm sure a lot of people are going to want to see the new classes that weren't in the first beta, so. Now, I actually watched a tier list video today, and um, they said that Druid was by far the worst class in the game. Not anything wrong with it, just it doesn't do that much damage at all. I mean, with Barbarian, you can go like Thorns and shit and just have people take a lot of damage when they hit you. But with Druid, you can't really build too many Thorns. It's kind of just like a tanky build. It's like, that's really all you are, just like a support tank. I mean, if you like playing the game that way, then I mean, go for it. You know, with a group of people, I mean, sure, it'd be really good. But solo, probably not the greatest. It's probably better off playing Sorcerer, Necromancer. Necromancer is by far the best I've seen. Unless I'm just not building the correct Sorcerer build or some shit. I mean, Sorcerer was really good too with my uh, Flame Shield build. Go check that out if you haven't seen it. But yeah, it is really nice just having an army of seven skeletal warriors just fighting for me. Once I hit level 25, I'll also be able to go golems, which that sounds even crazier than what I'm already seeing with literally seven skeletal warriors. If the golems are what I'm imagining they're gonna be in my head, that's gonna be like actually just too stupid. It'll be 100% absurd. Literally insane. Do you need more adjectives for me to describe it? It's insane, absurd. It's whack. I'd even go as far as to say it's sicko mode. I mean, truly, I don't think it would even really matter what you're building for, like, your uh, DPS, because the Skeletal Warriors just do everything for you. You don't even have to, like, turn your brain on for this class. I mean, with classes like the Rogue and the Sorcerer, I feel like I have to do a lot more, like, kiting to avoid taking, like, the majority of the damage, but this uh, class, you literally just run at people. Uh, this is a pretty easy boss fight from what I remember. I may beat this game twice already, and I don't think I've died to this boss once, so. Oh, also, I don't think I've used this move in my last video. So, on my three key down there, this, uh, like, circle thing I throw down, it just kind of slows people. It's really all it is, it's just, like, an AoE CC ability. See me throwing it down. I throw, like, down, like, a big old pentagram. It looks really badass. Yep, see, easy boss, no problemo. Oh, another level up, let's go. Now, I feel like I should go some sort of shadow damage, because the only thing I'm really going with right now is physical damage, so I think I should go some sort of shadow damage just because, just throw it in there for whatever reason. Let's try out Blight. Alright, we're gonna, we're gonna try out Blight. Fuck it. Now, I mentioned something in my last video about playing Path of Exiles. I'm not really sure what class I would play if I even began to play it. Maybe like a mage or something, just because people usually like to see mages in these types of games. Oh, half of those dudes are alive, what the hell? Now they're not. Damn, I noticed I didn't even really do an intro for this video. Guess I don't really need it. You guys know what the deal is, I'm playing Diablo. Uh, wh Huh? What just happened? How did I die that quick? I mean, I got him, but how did he get me? That doesn't make any sense. That guy must just be busted, he just one-shot me. I'm a pretty tanky guy, too, so... Wait, where am I? Oh, yeah, I died. I have to resummon. My dumbass was thinking I was uh, okay to just go in again. Gotta prepare my whole army. Okay, so Blight's a kind of an underwhelming ability. You just kind of throw a little ball of magic at him. I don't want to go too much into the magic. I kind of want to focus on my skeletons, because I feel like if I go way too into magic, I'm going to feel like I'm just playing the Sorcerer instead of the Necromancer. Do he just summoned again, right, as soon as it fell out. Oh, here we go. I beat it. Dude, it sucks that I haven't found a scythe that I can run that's better than this dagger, because I think the scythe is way cooler than any sort of dagger or sword you can run in this game. Crude Skull. I think that's the first time I picked up one of these gems. It gives a hundred armor? Oh my lord. I'm gonna put that on the ring or something. That is crazy. A hundred armor? That seems a little, a little excessive. But yeah, running Scythe would just be like classic Necromancer attire, so that would be really nice to get one that is way better than this dagger that I can run with confidence. I like how I'm droning on about how OP this class is and I just get one shot by that boss. Wow, what, what, an, what an embarrassing thing to happen. Hey, some respectable players on here. Nice. I mean, I don't really see a way there could be toxicity in this game in any way. I mean, I'm sure there is. There's toxicity in every game, but... I mean, it's always a really good sign when a game has a really good player base. A lot of sportsmanship's respectable. 
But can I really not walk around this? Alright, alright. I see the game you're playing, game. And I guess I have no choice but to play it. I mean, I'm playing your game, so I guess I might have to play all of your games. Even the ones that are just pranks you're pulling. Oh, also, this is the last day of the beta, so I'm planning on getting level 25 with this character, and maybe my rogue too, if I have time. My rogue is only level 20 right now, so I have like five levels to go. I've already completed the main story though, so that like a steady flow of XP is already passed. I'm just gonna have to be running around doing a lot of side quests and shit with it, but I'm pretty sure I could be able to hit 25 with this character at least. The rogue is kind of questionable, but... And I actually did see people requesting for more CSGO, and I thank you guys for your support on those videos, but this is the last day for Diablo 4. So I'm gonna go ahead and grind this out for the rest of the day, and then maybe play some CSGO tomorrow. It, I definitely had a lot of fun on CSGO. It's a really competitive shooting game. I'd love to get good at it. But yeah, since CSGO is such a popular demand, I'll most likely play it again. Because I did say I'd play it again if you guys really liked it. You guys did really like it, so thank y'all for y'all's support. Oh, another level up. Damn, this is actually going really fast. I literally just leveled up not even that long ago. Now, I don't even know if I should continue with Blight, because it doesn't seem that good, honestly. I think I'm just gonna keep going to Crepify because it upgrades the slow and damage reduction you get. Which I'm kind of going for like a tankier Necromancer build. Oh, that shield is good. Because with a tanky Necromancer build, not only am I tanky, but all my skeletons are going to be tanky as well. So that's just going to be like way too crazy. Now I'm going to keep hitting y'all with the adjectives. It's crazy. It's nuts. It's absurd. I'm going to go over yonder and look for the sealed door. Is that just like a Texas term, yonder? I feel like I use yonder a lot. I grew up saying yonder. I'm gonna keep saying yonder till the day I die. Another thing I say a lot is icebox. I say icebox instead of fridge, and a lot of people have no idea what I'm talking about anywhere other than Texas. That's where Texas is just like its own language, dude. Like, straight up. No one can compete with the Texas slang. Texans will have you a question and everything, even your sexuality. One second they're talking normal, next second they're talking about ice boxes and yonders. You're like, what the fuck? A lot of people I meet will say that y'all is a Texas term, like, oh, y'all over there. But people say that it's a Texas term, but I know that people from other states say it. I know they do. People from other countries say it, too. I'm pretty sure Australians say it. Oh, shit, I still have 10 enemies to kill. I didn't even notice. I'm over here talking about Texas slang. Another uh, slang term, I believe, is chuck it. I don't know if other states say chuck it. Like, throw something, chuck it. I've never really heard anyone else say it. Like, I said it one time here in Arizona, and everyone was just like, what the fuck, what are you saying? It's like, chuck it, like, throw the shit. Throw it as hard as you can. People out here just say yeet it. I'm not really too big into the whole, like, TikTok space, so I don't really say a yeet. Like, oh, yeet it over there. Like, what the fuck is a yeet? It's like, no, you chuck it. You chuck it. Like when we were playing football, what, what was that game? Jackpot, that's what it was, where there's one guy, he throws the football, and then everyone, there's like 10 kids, and they all try and catch the ball at once. That's what we would always say, the other guy throwing it, we'd be like, hey, chuck it, chuck it as hard as you can, throw it all the way down the field, and everybody runs over there, we group up, it's like a fucking Hail Mary dog pile. God, those are the times, dude. Enjoy your childhood while you can, because you're definitely gonna miss it as an adult. Like, I would love to do some sort of jackpot game as an adult, but I feel like it would be so hard to get everybody at the same time. Like, nobody's working. Every get everyone on an off day, you know what I'm saying? Because there's going to be at least a few people working on a Saturday or Sunday. Yeah, I think I'm going to get rid of the legendary ring, just put it in my stash, because that one's better. And then this legendary shield, that's definitely going on. Holy shit. Yeah, that's really good. And 20 thorns? Holy crap. Holy krizap. I swear, time just flies by when you're recording. I don't know how. It's like, no way I've been playing for this long already. It feels like I literally just sat down to record. And I guess time flies when you're having fun. Uh, I need a key, what the fuck? Oh, my stupid ass hasn't freed this prisoner. What am I doing? What are you, dumb? <laughs> it's a greasy key? Why does the key have to be greasy? That's disgusting. What, did they spit on it before they gave it to me? Why couldn't they give me a normal dry key? They had to lube up the key before giving it to me. Oh, they just fell on top of me. What kind of trap is this? Oh my, now I get a legendary sword. What is happening right now? All right. Dude, it's crazy how it's not even as good as my dagger. I might just equip it because it has some good stats on it. Mm, I don't know, man. Actually, I just read at the bottom there, it upgrades my skeleton, so yeah, I'm definitely gonna run this. I mean, the dagger does do a little bit more damage, but I'm just gonna sacrifice this for the legendary sword. I mean, come on, that, uh, that's badass. Sorry, I burped in the middle of talking. I was, I was drinking a root beer, haha. <laughs> Dude, it's been a while since I've had Barb's root beer. I've mainly just been drinking A&W. This is the one with caffeine, right? Yeah, it is. 
Dude, did anyone else ever get those, like, tiny little can of, like, uh, I don't even remember. It's like a powdered soda, almost. And uh, it was really popular when I was a kid. I know uh, I've heard people, I've talked to people anyways, and they said it's super popular in the 90s as well. The thing is, is they're good, but if you eat too much of it, then it's just disgusting and you'll lose your taste for it altogether. I have a coworker who actually says he hates root beer for that exact reason. He might actually be watching this, so you, you know who you are. That shit's disgusting. After a while, at first it's really good. Like maybe you like one or two really good, but after a while it's just another legendary sword. What, like, excuse me? Dude, I've gotten three legendaries in this one thing. Okay, it's two-handed, so I don't really want to run it, but holy shit, that's awesome. Oh, and it scales with Bone Prison, which I'm not using, so I don't know. It's only a Necromancer thing, too, but it's level six, so maybe if I create another Necromancer, I can just set it into my stash box. I don't know. I'll, I'll figure it out once I get back to town. I don't get paid enough to worry about that. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I don't get paid at all from this. If you want to help me out, then this is subscribe. <laughs> it's absolutely free and you can unsubscribe at any time. So this mission's description is travel to the shaft base. That's what I said to her too. <laughs> that's a that's a penis joke. Oh, here's the boss fight. Just let my skeletons deal with that. I'll just sit back and support them, I guess. I mean, they're the whole team, basically. Yeah, this guy's not even touching me. Look at this. He's too distracted by the skeletons. There we go. Dude, see what I mean with this class? You literally don't even have to fight. You literally just sit back and throw shit while your skeletons do all the work for you. Alright, I guess that's all. I'm gonna dip out of here, go back to town, salvage some shit, do all that fun stuff. Yeah! Dude, after I drink any sort of soda, I feel like I just have to drink, like, a whole bottle of water to get just, like, make my body healthier. Like, if I drink a soda and then just sit on it, I start feeling like shit. Oh my god, my, I just realized my shield has a skeleton on its back. That's so cool. It kind of keeps the theme up because I have a skull on my chest, I have a skull helmet, I have a skull right here, and I have a skull on my shield. Oh my, and my sword has a skull on it too. Dude, this is so awesome. I love this game. So you can add another stash tab, but it costs 100,000 gold. That's kind of absurd. Got 100,000 gold. At that point, I would just start like dropping shit. I'm not spending no 100,000 gold. You know how much shit I could upgrade with 100,000 gold? Dude, see what I mean in my last videos how this game's gruesome? There's literally just a face. There's a just severed heads sitting here in the middle of town. Like, why? Why do they just have a pillar of different faces in the middle of town? Like, who wants to see that? Like, imagine you wake up for work in the morning, open your door, and you just see a bunch of severed heads. It's like, wow, that's a great way to start my morning off. Alright guys, sorry to make this one short, but I also want to record another video for y'all today, so be sure to stay tuned for that, and subscribe if you don't want to miss it. I love you guys, it's been JD Blaze, see ya.